Nightmares in my head, I fear That the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper The Israeli occupation of Congo This man, Dan Gutler, an Israeli businessman who came to the DRC in 1997 Forbes estimates his net worth to be $1.2 billion. How did he get rich, you ask? Well, diamonds. He was a diamonds dealer. And where were the diamonds found? In the DRC. Who let him in? The Kabilas, Laurent Kabila and his son Joseph Kabila. Reportedly offered $20 million to the Kabilas for weapons to bolster their efforts to remain in power. So he signed deals with the president in exchange for monopoly on DRC's diamond market. So the Kabilas got weapons and Dan went away with the diamonds. Enter mining giant Glencore's Anglo Swiss company. In 2007, they managed to weasel their way inside the DRC's mining sector, mining zinc and cobalt primarily. And of course, who do they bump heads with? The other thief in town, Dan Gutler. And they've been squabbling over the resources of the DRC ever since. Right? Meanwhile, they're enslaving the people of Congo. They're enslaving the children of Congo in these mines. Meanwhile, they're destroying the environment. Meanwhile, the rivers are polluted. Meanwhile, life is a living hell. While Dan Gutler and Glencore Mines are squabbling over the resources that right, rightfully belong to the people of Congo. And what's happening today? President Felix Tshisekedi of the DRC why is the DRC president withholding details of the deal to recover assets from the controversial mining magnet? They're still doing dodgy deals. And we say enough is enough. Give the Congolese people their land back. Give Congolese people their resources back. Give Congolese people their dignity back. Name and shame. Free Congo. I wanted to um, show this video because we have been talking a lot about Palestine and um, I'm glad people are talking about Palestine and you can recognize, you know, the action of these people. So when they repeat this action, it's known what they're doing and that they have no remorse and you can treat them accordingly. Now, we, I want to talk about the Congo because we did talk about Palestine and Israel, um, which links into the Congo, uh, the DRC and the um, and also Sudan. So there's a lot going on around the world. Uh, we talked about the um, Colton and Cobalt that children are digging up. Um, they are in these mines that could bury them alive, but they're doing it and they're being given hardly anything for their labor. And that is so tech businesses like Apple, Microsoft, Dale, um, Samsung, your tech industry. Where when you get your phones, when you get your computers, when you get your TVs, um, your storage units for your PS5s, all of it. It is coming from babies digging Colton and Cobalt. They are stealing diamonds. I have videos. I'll link them all in this one of the, what happened when they used white phosphorus. What happened as these children dig for Colton and Cobalt, uh, the resources that are in the area that they want. Uh, China, the US, France, and any other nation. Um, I'm leery of Russia as well. When I talk about some of these countries, it's not to glorify them because all of them being in Africa means they want to exploit it for the resources and they will always get more and give less and they will tear up the land and leave the people sick after they have extracted where they can and they cannot extract anymore. They are parasitic. They will keep taking and taking and they will destroy from their greed. It's greed and gluttony, which are deadly sins. And you see how many lives it's costing. And the reason why the U.S. will defend Israel to the death of them or the detriment of the people within the borders of the United States is because Israel secures so much for them. You can't sit up here and believe that the U.S. has a good heart towards Israel if they were not benefiting in a hell of a big way from these Zionists. You know and I know that they do the work and the bidding for the United States of America and the United States are benefiting. That's why, because if they couldn't benefit from Israel, they would 
cut off all ties from Israel. And with all of these events that are happening, these gin events that are happening, it's not a coincidence. They're all happening at once. And it's all for a major takeover for the resources. Um, in the Gaza Strip, they want the oil. I've already been talking about the natural gas that's off the coast and any other um, precious resources that are there. They, they are willing to bomb them into non-existence so they can have it. Because if there was nothing there, they wouldn't even deal with them. They'd starve them out and they'd um, take them out slowly. In Congo, all of the resources there, the golden cobalt, you're not going to have these major companies survive without the exploitation that is going on in the Congo. Also, the gold that is over there, the oil that is over there, and the same with the resources in Sudan. So it is free Congo and free Sudan. People have not been talking about it as much, but I have been looking at several videos and there's a lot at stake. There is a lot that could end up affecting the world because they are over there trying to destroy the Congo and the Congo Basin. And that'll be the next video that I do about this because they're over there destroyed, just like they've done everywhere else. They are on a mad dash to take everyone with them. And it's sickening. It's disgusting. But I'll go ahead and leave it right here. Let me know what you think and I will see you in the next one.